welcome back to my channel and welcome the newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey by hitting that subscription button. It's free and hit the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. I would just like to mention that if the video is a little bit too fast for you, up top there's three little buttons. You can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like. Also right next to it, there's the CC uh, letters for closed caption. You can turn that on. And you can read all the stitch that I'm calling down here by pausing the video. Take notes will make it easier for you. Now, normally when I upload um, the videos, it takes about an hour for YouTube to uh, search all my words that I'm saying. So it can appear on the closed caption. So don't panic if you don't see right away the closed captions because the video has just been launched. It will show up in about a half an hour to an hour after the upload. I also would like to mention that if you have extra yarn, extra thread, and you'd like to help the women in need, we highly appreciate it and being very, very grateful for it. Thank you for the ones that already have helped and are still helping. If you'd like to donate right below the video, there's a little bag of dollar sign. You can donate whatever amount you'd like. Nobody's asking for millions. Anything helps. It adds up at the end. Uh, you can also go into the description box. My PayPal account is there. You can donate through there if you'd like also. Please always give a thumbs up on the video if you like the video. It does help the video to circulate and also uh, to be recognized worldwide. I gratefully appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's one way to help me out and to help to continue to create these beautiful pieces. Um, also share on your Facebook public. It costs nothing. It's everything is free. There's no charge of anything. So please help out to grow the channel. I do have a Facebook group, a uh, private group. If you have a profile, you're more than welcome to uh, request to be a member. It's free, of course, and uh, we'll approve you. You must have a profile. Be careful with the links that you go into the groups that says cut and bit. These are fraud uh, scammers that go through your phones, your computers, and take every information of yours. Do not open up those links. There's a lot of hackers in the groups now. That's why I made sure that my group is private. Uh, I want to thank every single one of you from the start uh, being with me, and uh, thank you so much for the newcomers. It costs nothing to subscribe, so please do so. Thank you so much, everybody. Everything will be listed always in the description box for every pattern that I create, the sizes, the thread that I use, which is Portugal thread. They are 100% cotton thread, four ply, which is similar to Aunt Lydia, number three, which num number three Aunt Lydia is just a little bit thicker than my thread, not by much, but a little bit. I usually use a hook three or 3.5, a small one for tucking in loose ends and a pair of scissors, of course. So thank you, everybody. Uh, any other questions, suggestions, please feel free to uh, comment. You can always get a hold of me if your intentions are to uh, give some thread or yarn away. There's my email below the description box. There's my Facebook page that you can follow also, my Facebook group, my Instagram, my TikTok. So there's so many ways you can message me. Thank you so much, everybody. I hug every single one of you and much blessings to all of you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, everyone. So just, I think it was last week or two weeks ago about that. I had created uh, these uh, tea cups. Of course, I have a, a thread, a carton in there just to hold it up because normally you would starch it. Um, and I was requested to create the same or same style um, of the plate and cup but a different stitch if you realize this stitch is like this and this stitch is like that so there's a difference between the stitch just on the same style though okay so that's what we're going to do i decided not to go with the flower i did uh, since christmas is almost nearby i did the bow tie but you can add flower you can put a little pearl even here on the bow tie if you want it. Um, so very simple. 100% cotton thread, four ply, similar to Aunt Lydia number three. Mine's a little bit thinner. Um, I'm going to use the uh, either 275 
or three. I'm saying 275 because I'd like for the stitch to be more compact since it's open. The stitch is a little bit more, you know, the style is different. I don't want to be a, with a three to give it a, a looser, uh, wider cup. So I've tried it and it uh, noticed that it whitens it up more. So I'm most probably going to use the 2.75 pair of scissors, of course, and a small one to tuck in loose end. And um, let's get started. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. Share if you can on your Facebook public. Help out to grow the channel. And I thank every single one of you. Uh, God bless. Thank you so much. And thank you for the super chat donation. The um, super thanks. Thank you so much. And for the women uh, that came forward to help out with Thread. I'm so grateful. And everybody else that needs us also is extremely grateful. Thank you. Let's get started, everyone. So I'm going to start off with chain stitch and that on any pattern you do does not count. And I'm going I'm just going to move this aside because I don't want it to be distracting. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So six chain. I'm coming in the first and closing it in with slip stitch. Try to hide my thread at the same time. I'm going to go up chain three inside of this little circle. I'm going to do um, another 19 double crochet. So with the chain three total of 20 double crochets. So I'm going to continue mine. You can do yours and then I'll meet you right at the end after our 20 double crochets. Okay, so I've done my 20 double crochets. Now, because we are supposed to slip stitch on the first one that's the chain, it's going to give us a space if we do that. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do just another double crochet right over that three chain. Okay. And then I'm going to come and hook it on the second double crochet. So we're ignoring that three chain going up. So it's a way of not showing three chain and it's a perfect technique for it. I'm going to come back into the same space and I'm going to do a single. This is going to be for a double crochet and two chain back into the same space again and do another double crochet. So row two is two double crochets per space. Okay. So that means that we'll have 40 double crochet, two together per space. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. So I've done my two together. I'm coming on the third chain. Make sure you grab both loops and not just one loop or else you're going to have an opening. And that's the trick to this uh, thing when you don't want to have it open. Okay, so now, um, Oops, sorry. I'm going to go back into the same space and do a single and then chain two. I'm coming back into the same space and I'm doing another double crochet. Now, next space, double crochet. Next space, double crochet. I can't even remember sometimes what I do, right? Next space, two together. So we're going to have two alone and two together. So we put two together, one double crochet alone and another double crochet alone. Next space, two together. Next space, one alone, one alone. Next space, two together. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we're on to row four. So I'm going to do one, two, three. In the same space, I'm going to create two groups of two double crochet, one chain. In the same space, again, two double crochet, just like that. Now, remembering that 
when we're doing this, after, you know, inside of the chain three, this one, this one here next to it tends to be hidden. So you you have to be careful to to count that. So we're going to count. Skip the first one right after the chain three. So one, two, three, four. On my fifth one. Now for people that have extremely tight stitch, you can do a chain two or loosen it up a bit. Okay, so we're going to create these groups all the way around. You're supposed to end up with 10 groups like that. So skip one, two, three, four on your fifth one. Again, you do your two groups of double crochet, one chain space, and on the same space again, we're going to do um, another double crochet like that. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I've come to the end, and coming to the end, I had to jump six, okay, or else we wouldn't have the right amount, which doesn't change anything in our book. So I'm coming directly into the center here where we have the groups and create our groups. Now, we're going to do five rows of groups, okay? the same way as we just finished doing. So you're going to create your two groups, one chain, or two double crochet, one chain, and two double crochet, one chain again. Come into the middle of the other groups and create again, two double crochet. And sometimes you might just have leftover thread somewhere and this does not take that much thread and it's fast to create. And it becomes gorgeous. It's also beautiful as Christmas gifts for most of you that are trying to figure out what to do. This is beautiful in display as a gift. I'm sure the person will be very happy to receive it. Okay, so we're going to do five rows like this. And I'll show you here. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we're going to complete five rows. And then I'm going to cut my thread and we're going to proceed uh, to finish creating the plate and then we'll go with the red. Okay, so simple as that. Okay, everyone. So I've cut my thread. I've tucked in the loose ends. We're going to work on the plate now. So you're going to turn your pattern like that or actually like this. This way. I don't know what I'm thinking sometimes, Mike. So, right in between the groups, right, we have that stitch here right in the middle. We're going to come in and we're going to do a single. Okay. And then we're going to do one, try to hide my thread at the same time, two, three, four, and five. If your stitch is too loose, then do only four chain. We're going to skip the group here, and we're coming right in the center here of the stitch with a single. We need to do 10 loops. One, two, three, four, five. Again, skip this one here, and come here in the center of the motor. One, two, three, four, five. Again, skip your group, come into the center. It's like right in front of you, you can't miss it. One, two, three, four, five. Skip this one and come right into the center. Okay, so let's have the 10 loops like that because we'll be working on them. So I'm in my last one. I'm reaching my first one. I'm coming in where I did the single with a slip stitch. Okay. So now we have these loops in the back. We're going to work inside of the loop. So we're going to come in the loop like that with a single chain two. We're going to create group of two, double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet. Just gotta check something here. 
we're going to do chain one into the next loop and create your groups again. Chain two between the groups and create two double crochet. Chain one into the next loop and create your groups again. Chain two space and two more double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. So we're reaching the end. I did my one chain. I'm going to close it in with slip stitch and I'm going to walk into the center of the groups and I'm going to do chain three. I'm coming inside of the space here. This is the last row for the white and I'm doing six double crochet. That's including with chain three. So we have two, three, four, five. So we have five. Six. I'm coming directly where I have the space in between the groups and again into the space here and create your six double crochets. So we're going to do this all the way around. Two, four, five, six. Come into the space between the groups, single. And then once you get here, you close it on the third chain after you do your single. And we cut our thread. Okay, you guys, so I'm coming in with my burgundy. slip stitch. I'm going to come in the bottom. Make sure your cup is faced this way, right? That you're stitching on the proper side. Coming into the first double crochet with a single. I'm trying to hide my thread here at the same time. Single. 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 So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it would be the same uh, stitching as the double crochet uh, from the previous row. So now I'm going to do not a triple, a double but I'm going to stretch it out. And if you can't stretch it out, then I suggest that you should. So where we have the single here, I'm going to, or right on the stitch, if you want to cover that single, you can do both ways. Give it a good stretch there a bit. If you can't, then do the triple. Okay. So I'm going to do, um, Okay, so we're going to close it up and then we're going to come into the first double crochet here with a single. Single, so we're doing our six singles. Again, I'm going to come right on the double crochet. I'm going to give it a good stretch and do a long double crochet. again. Stretch. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we've done our plate. Now we're going to do the top slip stitch knot I'm going to come on the first double crochet here with a single 
we'll be doing singles on this one too. Next phase single. In the center, single. First double crochet, single, single. Now we're going to do that long one again, okay? But this time we're going to do one. I believe I did two on this one. And another and complete. And then we're going to close it and come into the first double crochet. The second, the middle. So it makes three, the next double crochet four, and the next one five. I'm coming down. I got to stretch incomplete and one more and then close it up. And you probably would say, well, why aren't you doing just one, right? So it can really like stand out on the pattern. That's why I, um, whoops, skipping one here. That's why I wanted to do a double incomplete double crochet on that center. So the pattern can have a nice stick out to it. Almost like a 3D if you if you want to call it so incomplete incomplete and close it then come into the first one do your single and continue on okay so I'll meet you at the end so I finished I've cut my thread I'm just talking in between the spaces back here trying to hide whatever left over now normally if you have hot gun glue you could also uh, give it a little bit of a touch of glue at the end just like not by much right we don't want to like have glue coming from everywhere here okay so of course once it's starched and everything it will be perfect I'll just put this little cup here and gives you more or less an, uh, of an idea. Once it starts, it will give you, okay? So now we're going to do the handle, which is very simple. So slip stitch knot. Just going to take this out of here because I need that to work, right? You can come on anywhere on the um, on the pattern here. So I'm going to come in on my first single in between the groups here, and I'm going to do single. Try to hide my thread. Tighten up my stitch here. We don't want holes in it. Chain two. Coming into the next one. And doing double crochet. So that's two double crochet right after the red into the next space, double crochet, and into my last space, double crochet. So I have four. I'm going to turn around, do chain three, and continue to do the four double crochets. We're doing seven rows of double crochet back and forth. One, two, three, turn around. And again, double crochet over double crochet. We're going to do seven rows and then we have to, when we cut our thread, we have to leave a little bit, oops, almost knocked down my camera. We have to leave a little bit of thread so we can sew the top part in, which is like a couple of stitches. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of the four, um, of the four, of the seven double crochets rows. So 
So I've done my seven rows and I'm just going to cut a little bit because we need to sew. So it doesn't take much to, to do a little bit of sewing, right? Because it's only uh, the four uh, double crochets. Now, so you have to follow up the same way. And I'm going to stitch right underneath here, exactly like we have this one, if you see. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go right into this double crochet here. I'm just going to bring up the camera a little bit so you'll see. So I'm, because I am on this side, I'm just going to bring it up this way. And then I'm just going to come back in. Because you want to make sure that you get everything tacked here. And I'm... I'm putting it in this way. I don't want to, I don't want to come from the back because then you need to bend that a little bit. Okay. Oh, I took it out of place. Not a smart thing, right? Okay, let, let's retry that again. Okay. So now I'm going to come into the stitch up here a little bit just so I can get it connected here. And then from the inside here, the third stitch, then you're just going to come right through over here. Of course, my, my thread had to come out of the hook, the, not the hook, the needle. And I didn't want a bigger hook because, not hook, a uh, needle, because uh, poking the holes through the thread wouldn't be a good idea if it's too, too wide over here, right? So it has to be a smaller needle there. Okay, so we continue on. So back in into right on the corner here. We're going to have a nice straight line. I'm going to turn it and I want to make sure I get the corners properly so I'm just going to come in from the back and into that corner so it can stay steady there okay I'm going to go through again to the other side which is much easier now that's in, right? Oh my goodness. Then I'm just going to go right on the corner and give it a few stitches here like that to make sure that it's all Connect it together. Okay. I'm going to come back into this side. Just going to go right through here. Like that. And then just hide your, your thread through the stitches back here. Because then we know that it will stay secure. Right? I mean, I could have pulled a little bit more thread, cut a little bit more thread longer, right? But sometimes you just don't, sometimes you just don't think, do you? Now, I'm just 
going to pull this out. And I'm going to give it a knot here. Like that. Smaller hook. And I'm just going to pull this thread in the inside. Like that. And then close it off. I'm going to warm up my hot gun glue so I can glue my little bow tie. Okay, so here's the cute little handle. I mean, how cute is that? Of course, it's all out of shape now, you know, it's normal. But once, once you spray starch it, you'll be perfect. Okay, or even once it stays on the form, look, I had left this one on the form and it's pretty steady, right? So we're going to skip one, two. On my third one right up here, okay, it's where I'm going to do the... I'm going to do the uh, little bow tie. So I'm gonna just, well, that wasn't a smart idea, was it? Okay, so I'm just gonna take this. So we're gonna skip one. One, two, so on this one here, just make sure. So we'll be on this one here like that. So not one, two on your third one right there. And the third one there and on your third one on this side. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue here. Doesn't take much, just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to compress so I can stick to it. And I want to make sure that it stays intact, so I'm just going to put a little bit there. And just a little bit back here just to make sure that it stays all together. And we're pretty much done with this. I will be creating the tea uh, cattle, so stay tuned for the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give a thumbs up if you did so. I want to thank every single one of you. Thank you so much for being part of this journey with me. And leave your suggestions, your comments. Let me know what you think about this beautiful little cup. Okay? Thank you so much, everyone. Until next time. Not uh, for the ones that have just arrived in my channel. I do have the set already, the tutorial out for this one. It's in the playlist. So you can go to playlist and check teacups. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye. Send you much love and much hugs. Mm -hmm.